I look for people who are doing something really clever, something inventive, someone who's taking the visual language and going somewhere that nobody else has gone before. Paul has <laughs> set me up an amazing display, an amazing showing at the Paul Fisher Gallery, and I, I'm ecstatic. I'm a drummer by trade, so I, it's about rhythm for me. They're kind of like visual songs, and composing them is very similar to composing music. He has got a, a literal uh, toss salad of ingredients that have to do with color and form. I love visual art. I love color, as you can see. I want to be surrounded by this work. I want to be stimulated by it. I want to learn from it. I want to explore it. They have a great three-dimensional illusionary quality to them that amplifies the basic aesthetics of what this guy is doing. What I'm looking for is that three-dimensional thing that sort of pulls you in. They're hard to believe that they are not actually right. three-dimensional. This is highly considered. Every part of it and how balanced. I think he's got a, a, a great show here and it looks like he's got a great future to make. Takashi's work, when Paul told me that we were going to be roommates, so to speak, I was thrilled. Takashi's really young. His first show was a sellout in Tokyo. He got amazing press. You cannot overlook the talent in his work. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's the opposite of the other show. This is completely narrative. I'm looking at the room and I, and I see these pieces living very well together. In Japan, there is a tradition of respect of household objects. We have to respect old tools, old items which exist long time ago. We respect old shoes, old clothing, anything old. So he wanted to uh, tell people that you know we should respect everything that exists. These works are magnificently refined with gold leaf. Uh, he has a perfect essence of the way he forms his work. He had a big chance this time to visit in Florida, so he want to look around all the city, and also he want to put all the things he saw here onto the mochi, mochi on the painting in the future. These uh, great objects uh, that are here uh, are playing games with the picture. He met those uh, animals we call the yokai, which is a kind of spirit. And instead of using uh, uh, 16th century imagery, uh, they're using imagery uh, that is today. And he wanted to bring them into the modern life and that became his theme. I'm going to predict that this guy is going to be an international star. Watch where they go artistically, intellectually, aesthetically, spiritually, financially, all of that. This is the time to get on the ride with an artist. Come on and see the work, it's great, we love it. <laughs>